Hey guys, my name is Sammy. I'm a classical Pilates teacher and today is going to be a somewhat of a quick workout that is geared towards scapula mobility and scapula stabilization. So we're going to work on what I just said and also work on strengthening the serratus muscles. These are very, very important for your shoulder health and your longevity within your shoulders. Otherwise, if you don't have proper mobility and strength, then you're more susceptible to rotator cuff tears and other shoulder injuries. Also leads up into the neck. So we're gonna work on all the above. I do have a TheraBand here with me today. This will be in the description box below. Mine is a medium weight. That's all I have as I am moving across the country, not across the country, to another country. But I would usually use a heavier one so that I can pull it as hard as I want and chances of me snapping it in half are a lot less. So it's up to you. We'll use this for a couple things, but I'm going to start each time I use this without just in case you don't have anything. Now you're going to sit in a position that feels the most comfortable for you. That can be sitting crisscross applesauce or like that on a yoga block. You can sit in a chair. You can stand. I'm going to kneel. Um, but I know that's not uh, for everyone. So you're starting with what's called dumb waiter. You're going to glue your elbows into your side. There are so many bees around me right now. I'm going to try not to scream throughout this video. So you can squeeze those elbows into your sides and bring your hands together like you're holding a tray. And then you're going to open and keep those elbows squeezing into your sides. And then you're going to come back and try not to force anything go to where you can and then you come back and I just want you to breathe naturally you're trying to keep your chest up even when you come back so that you're not dipping down so the chest is pulling to your chin and your stomach's pulled in nice and tight and you're coming back now if you're using your TheraBand you want to start out with whatever tension you feel like is good for you and then you're going to come in all the way you'll lose tension and then you're going to go out because you still want that range of motion squeezing into your sides as if you don't lift your tray up mine was drooping as if you um, don't have the band and you come back and again out lift your chest and come back and again out and come back one more and then bring it back. Very nice. So now you're going to go into a hug. And again, you can do this in whatever position you want. I'm going to sit crisscross applesauce here. And then this goes behind your back if you're going to use it, but I'm going to first show without. So your arms are out to the side and you want to be like you're hugging a big, big beach ball. Your elbows can lift a little bit and then your chest lifts and you're drawing the abdominals in and then you're bringing your arms, you know, you're drawing your elbows back as much as you can without bending them. So you're reaching wide. And then when you come in, you're not straightening to come in and bending to go back. You're keeping the shape and moving from your back muscles. So you want to spread those shoulder blades into your armpits and come in and when you come in reach lift your chest and come back and I'm going to show you back here with the band if you're going to use it it's going to go behind your back way up tall and you're going to reach I'm going to grab a little bit closer so that I have more tension and you're reaching your back wide and bringing your elbows back so you want to keep tension you're not losing any tension and then you come forward and you push your back into the band and spread your shoulder blades wide, trying to stretch the band in your that's touching your back. And then you come back and you're reaching, opening the chest, reach, don't lose tension. And then you come back, spread wide. And this is really nice because it really gives you that tactile feedback to help you feel what movement your back should be doing lift your chest and go and those elbows are not dropping down and hyperextending they're lifted just a little bit and you can reach through your forearm and let's do one more
that and then lower it down. All right. So you're going to come onto all fours for your cat cow. And you're going to really press down through your shins. And you want your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees as best as possible. And then you're going to press your shins down and press your palms down and find that same hug that you found with the band behind your back. And then as you come to the other direction, press down through the shins and the arm, hands and then pull your chest forward. So it's not about how low can you dip, it's about how long can you make your spine. And then you're gonna push away, push down through the shins, spread the shoulder blades wide into your armpits. And then you're gonna come back and pull forward. Now exhale when you're in this extension and then inhale. And make sure you're not compressing, that you're really finding length through your body. And then exhale. And this is a different breath than what you would take in yoga because I don't want you to lose your stomach on the extension. When your belly button is facing the ground, then your stomach has to work 10 times harder for you to not just sink in everything. You still have to be pulled up. Push away, push down, inhale, lift your chest, and then exhale. One more round, inhale. And then exhale and come to neutral. Now you're gonna go into a thread the needle. This is more yoga, um, but that's okay. You're gonna reach one arm up, twist, push through both shins evenly, and then thread the needle under the other arm. And then come up, ooh, the bees. Inhale, exhale, reach. Big inhale, reach. Exhale. And square off your shoulder to stretch through that upper back scapula area. And then bring that hand back in. Come on to all fours, other side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and then reach forward with the other arm, optional, try to bring that right shoulder or top shoulder, whichever one you're on, down. Go a little deeper. Come bring that hand back, come back onto all fours, and flip over onto your back. So if you have the TheraBand, you can grab it for this next exercise. You're going to walk your feet out about a little three-quarter length or so, and they can be hip distance or they can be together. Your choice. And if you're not doing the band, I'll start there. You're going to reach your arms up to the ceiling, and then you're going to lift up and back down. So you're just kind of lifting your shoulders up and back down. Now I want you to lift your shoulders up, lift your chest towards your chin a little bit more and back down because we're really working on keeping the chest lifted while we do this so we don't um, hinder our posture. And then lift and down. Now inhale, lift, and then exhale. This will go back, keeping them up off of the mat. Inhale, exhale, back down. Now if you're using your TheraBand, you're folding it in half. And then how far close your arms are up to you, you want to be able to pull apart and not be super wide unless your shoulders need that. You know, if something doesn't feel right, then go to where you need to go. So your chest is up. Inhale, lift. Lift your elbows up a little bit. And then go back and pull it apart. 
Really empty your lungs. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale. Keep tension. Exhale back. Inhale. Exhale. Shoulders down. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Empty your lungs. Lift your chest. Come back up and down. Very nice. So now you're going to put the TheraBand down if you're using it. And we're going to go into arm circles. So you're going to lift the shoulders back. Exhale. And then inhale. Circle around and lift that chest. And then again, inhale. Exhale. And come back and lift your chest. Exhale up. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. Now reverse. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. inhale. Good. Now bring both arms up. You're going to lift the shoulders up, and then one arm goes back goes forward and you're gonna have to lift a little higher of the one going back and then come back up. and then lift the shoulders, take it back try to find equal balance in the body you can kind of tell if you feel one side of your back more than the other that's what I was feeling inhale shoulders down up exhale Wiggle, wiggle. Inhale. Exhale. One more on each side. Exhale. And lower it down. Good. Okay. We're, we're almost done. A couple more exercises. Is. A couple more exercises in a stretch. You're going to come onto your stomach. Okay. Now lift your arms up, rotate the palms back, and lift your arms up higher. Now inhale, lift like you're scraping your nose on the mat, and lift your arms higher as you squeeze in, and then come back and down. So you lift up, you rotate, you lift higher, you inhale, lift those arms, try not to drop them because then you'll lift up into the lower back and then rotate and come back down. Let's do one more. Shoulders back and down to lift. Rotate, lift higher, higher, higher. And all the way back down. Bring your arms forward for breaststroke and then you lift and you go back and lift your arms up. Press the hip bones down, reach and forward. You can also take your arms into your band here. You'll lose tension. You just want to make sure you can press out to the side. And you're going to lift, press, reach for the walls, reach for the walls, all the way back, reach for the walls, and come down. Ooh. And let's go into serratus push-ups. So you're going to start on your forearms. And your hips can be over your knees to start. And you want to push down through your shins. The more that you do that, you sink less. You push down through your shins. And then you want to push the back of your head to the ceiling. And then as you lower your chest towards the floor, your shoulder blades come towards each other. And you push your head up. And then you spread the shoulder blades wide and you can come as wide as you need to for now so you're going to go down and up and what is going to want to happen is this especially if you lack this mobility so as you go down push the back of your head up and less is more you don't want to go more farther just to move your neck up and down down all right, go ahead and press back into your child's pose and take both hands to one side, lengthen, and then both hands to the other side. 
Come back to center. Come all the way up. You guys are all done. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time for something that has to do with Pilates. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.